What's going on, gamers? Today we're diving into some more Remnant 2, and what we're going to be covering is probably the best mutator in the game, and that's going to be the momentum. So, if you want to get your hands on this amazing damage item, then stay tuned. Let's come up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're on the hunt and in my opinion it's for the best mutator in the game. Obviously some weapons will, will work better with some slightly other mutators, say for example you're using a bow you might use the supercharger, but this one overall because of how much crit and crit damage it gives you is probably the best one for damage in the game. Now in order to get hold of this it is not the easiest one in the world, but it is definitely one you can go out and try and get, you're just going to need a little bit of luck with an instant spawning. In order to get this the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're travelling to the world of Yeisha and then you're going to start off with the red throne as your starting instance. From there I tended to make sure I completely skipped forward, I didn't worry about going to see the Queen just to save a little bit of time and then just heading in the direction of the exclamation mark making my way throughout the instances. After that you're going to need to travel around a bit more, taking out the enemies and making sure you find the next exclamation mark, which is going to be the dungeon you'll need to complete in order to proceed further. I found the two times I did this it was both Kalua's Rest, but even if it's not for you, just whatever the exclamation mark dungeon is, that's the one you're going to need to clear. Once you've cleared that, that's going to be where you're going to need a little bit of luck and if this area has spawned in your game you're going to be completely golden, if not you'll need to reroll and try again because you're going to be looking for a specific area and this time it's going to be the Imperial Gardens. I had to reroll three times in order to get this but man when you do it is definitely worth it because this mutator is something special. Eventually I managed to go through an area, it was the Imperial Gardens and very fortunately for me I also got it when it was a blood moon and I'm going to tell you why that's actually quite important. So nothing to do with the actual mutator but well worth noting when you're in this area if a blood moon is in effect you're going to want to head just up this direction just here, make your way just round a little bit and because there's a blood moon on the trap door here is going to open up you're then going to be able to bop down inside after avoiding this enemy for a little bit so that I don't get wiped you're going to drop down below and you're going to be able to pick up this, this secret amulet that is actually well worth having and that's going to be the full moon circlet range damage, life steals 3% of base damage dealt at full health and range damage is increased by 20% I actually think this is a really amazing amulet to have and can really help you keep topped up on your health However, jumping back to our starting point, so this is the crystal when we first entered the instance, I'll show you exactly what you're here for. And it's going to be this whopping thing in the air right there, but the unique enemy you're after that only spawns in this area here is going to be the Mantagora. You can see I cannot hit whatsoever, you're going to want to make sure you've got something that's got some long distance on it. I probably didn't choose the best weapon as it wasn't fully upgraded, but the enemy itself also isn't the toughest so I wouldn't worry too much, as long as you're doing some nice damage to it you should be golden. But just keep hitting it as much as you can, take down its health, and if you've got an amazing build I would imagine you could probably take it out right here because I didn't put on a damage build whatsoever with this point. If you haven't, just make your way further throughout the instance of the Imperial Gardens, and whenever you spot this, either by seeing a massive shadow going over you or by it trying to drop bombs on you, just keep taking shots at it. Eventually you're going to do enough damage to take it down and no matter what build you're on you should be good to go, just make sure you're avoiding its bombs and such when it's dropping them on you. But when you eventually take it out, you're going to be rewarded with the mutator here, the momentum. When this weapon scores a critical hit, it increases critical chance and critical strike damage by 1.5% for 3 seconds, with a maximum of 10 stacks. At level 10, the critical hits from this weapon add 2 stacks, increasing its duration and increases its duration by 2 seconds. This means you can have an absolute abundance of crit and crit damage going on in your build and as soon as I've got this I jump straight back to Dwell and upgraded it fully so that I could see just how good it is. So after maxing it out, getting it to 10 and then just putting on quite a decent build, I wouldn't say it was the most powerful because I didn't go Hunter Gunslinger but I still put on quite a few pieces that were going to improve my firearms damage. 
then I jumped over to the trusty gun range to see what this mutator's all about. And honestly, after popping my abilities, trying to go for a bit of damage, any single build that is revolving around crit damage, I would say this is the mutator for you and it will tear things to pieces. Like you can see here, probably not as high as some people's, like I said, I didn't have a pure spec that build on, but I was almost hitting 3k DPS. That's pretty decent, it really is, and it was a huge buff compared to what I had previously. So yeah, in my opinion, one of the best mutators in the game, definitely worth getting hold of, and hopefully it'll help you clear enemies fast. But yeah, as always, there'll be a lot more remnant content from me. For now, take care, I'll see you on the next day.